Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Coin Lady channel. There will be extensive discussion of the US dollar. There will be some discussion of crypto and related regulations. Given the recent volatility surrounding the US dollar, I'm marking this as an XRP video to ensure that you all receive relevant updates. Kenya agrees to pay for oil imports from Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates with its own currency, the shilling. And then he asked, where did you get this news? I have my doubts that it's correct. Can you name a reliable source? This is where it all came from then. The Energy Minister of Kenya announced on Monday that the country had signed a deal with the United Arab Emirates at NOC and Saudi Arabia's Aramco for the supply of petroleum products with the six-month credit period, a move meant to reduce the country's reliance on the U.S. dollar and strengthen the local currency. But then I realized what was really happening. Some international currency traders have expressed skepticism that the plant can relieve the pressure on the shilling currency, arguing that at best it delays demand. From what I can tell, Saudi Arabia has announced that they will no longer accept US dollars and will instead accept shillings. In this way, the shilling can have the same backing from Saudi oil as the US dollar does now. There must be more at play here. The president of Kenya then orders the elimination of all US dollars from circulation. Now you know the answer. One year ago, when I predicted that the value of the US dollar would fall, people laughed at me. In other words, you're delusional, they told you. The dollar's strength has never been greater. But as I said, that's beginning to change. The BRICS nation's attacks on the US dollar are increasing in frequency and intensity. The era of petrodollars is coming to a close. It's highly unlikely that China will use US dollars to purchase Saudi oil. In deals announced over the weekend and Monday, the Saudi Arabian state-owned oil giant Amoco said it would invest billions of dollars in China's downstream petrochemicals industry. This would include the construction of a new refinery. The company's announcements coincided with a year in which it achieved a record annual profit of over $160 billion. Along with how Saudi Arabia, a traditional US ally, has grown closer to China in recent years. There seems to be a shift in Saudi Arabia's foreign policy, away from the United States and towards the BRICS nations. And as I have always warned, the stock market and cryptocurrency will experience a major bubble once the dollar begins to decline. But how do we convert XRP into fiat currency? We won't be withdrawing dollars, and I doubt XRP will ever be worth what you paid for it in dollars. A month ago, there was no coverage of how devastating it would be for the US economy if the dollar lost its status as the world's reserve currency. A year ago, I said something similar, and people laughed at me. It's happening rapidly, and not just Fox News but also CNN is covering it. The United States faces an unprecedented reckoning if the dollar loses its global preeminence. Eventually, I think hyperinflation will hit the United States. And I think inflation will rise anyway as long as they keep bailing out these banks. The Federal Reserve is also increasing interest rates. The banking crisis is a symptom of a more sinister plan to concentrate all wealth and power in the hands of six large blockchain-powered banks. Place yourself appropriately. XRP. Banking turmoil endangers global financial stability, says IMF head. They don't want crypto used in banking now, but I still think it's the only thing that can save the industry from its current precarious position. Consider that. XRP and Waddle. Suddenly, that would be the answer to all of our problems. That, however, is something they actively seek to avoid. The government wants these banks to fail. They're after the merger, and they'll want the CBD oil, too. Just give it some time. Deutsche Bank's stock price falls as the cost of insuring against its default rises amid the ongoing global financial meltdown. Now they keep reassuring us that banking is completely secure. Save up by depositing funds. Even though it's completely safe, we're still not in the clear. This is still occurring in every part of the globe. As concerns over the stability of European banks persisted, Deutsche Bank's share price fell on Friday following an increase in credit default swaps the night before. After falling as much as 14% at one point on Friday, the Frankfurt-listed stock recovered some ground to end the day down 8.6%. And they always seem to bring it back around to the idea that you shouldn't withdraw any cash from the bank. The financial system will soon crumble. What I can say is this. 
I have a bad feeling that these banks are going to fail and take a lot of people's money with them when they go under. That was the point of all these discussions about balance. I think they are trying to establish a story that will ultimately fall flat on its face. There will be more deals like the $500 million sale of Silicon Valley Bank to First Citizens Bank as failing banks become bargains for their successors. It's dead on. The stock market was a disaster for Nancy Pelosi. She has recently suffered losses in the stock market and has decided to sell. What's going on in the stock market, and how bad is it? Many are concerned about it. What happens next will be determined by events as they unfold. But you know how they always knew what to put their money into. Even though they've made a ton of money in the market, she must be worried about it if she's leaving. Coinbase is working on a new stable coin that will be unaffected by inflation. This is a completely new twist. Since most stable coins are tied to the US dollar or another fiat currency, the exchange's recent interest is seen as peculiar. Coinbase is attempting to tie its flat coins to the cost of living. This will be accomplished by keeping an eye on inflation rates and the consumer price index. Consider this, okay? Possibly Coinbase shares my view that hyperinflation is inevitable and that this coin will appreciate in value as a result, in which case purchasing some now seems like a very sound investment. Us. The US Commodity Futures Trading Commission claims that Binance engage in trading activity through 300 house accounts linked to CEO KSI. In addition, the US agency has today sued the exchange and KSI in federal court. Binance allegedly did not monitor or control the 300 accounts for signs of fraud or manipulation. The accounts in question were specifically exempted from the newly implemented insider trading policies, the suit claims. So, was KSI, in fact, engaging in market manipulation? We'll have to watch to see how that develops, too. Still, this was inevitable after Binance, and the timing is certainly peculiar. I assume they give Coinbase a lot of thought after going after them. However, the CFTC appears eager to mimic the SEC's approach. To me, it looks like a struggle for control. In the next video, we'll go into greater detail. A global cooperative strategy for digital assets is anticipated to be outlined in May by leaders from Japan, the United States, the United Kingdom, Canada, France, Germany, and the European Union. The time had finally come, I thought, when they would implement some kind of worldwide rules. In my heart, I still think that the World Economic Forum is behind these rules. They can never let this go and will continue to hold FTX responsible. They will also place the blame on Silicon Valley Bank. However, the purpose of these rules is to keep you and I from using cryptocurrency. In the end, that's all there is to it. They advocate for a CBDC because they hope to exert control over it. This is why crypto is being sidelined. They haven't figured out how to regulate crypto yet. In the end, that's all there is to it. This then is the situation. As I mentioned at the outset of this video, BRICS have now surpassed the G7 in terms of global GDP. To this day, I have the impression that the BRICS are strengthening and growing. And as they grow stronger, these other nations will inevitably decline. As the value of the dollar declines, I fear for the future of the United States. Then, the ledger publishes an alert about a new scam that targets XRP investors. Ledger claims that con artists are impersonating its staff in order to steal XRP from users. Ledger, a well-known cryptocurrency hardware wallet, has issued a warning to its users about a new scam technique that targets unwary XRP holders. Ledger recently tweeted that bad actors have created a fake version of the Ledger Live app in order to steal XRP from users. These male factors, particularly when posing as company employees, managed to trick Ledger users into disclosing their 24-word recovery phrase. Scammers use victims' recovery phrases to gain unrestricted access to their XRP coins once they have been revealed. Be careful on the streets. Your crypto needs to be as secure as possible. Especially now, I think XRP price is going to skyrocket. Don't keep your cryptocurrency on the exchanges, as I anticipate a swift resolution to that case. Quickly remove it from that location. But I'm going to end this video here. Never did I think it would pick up this fast, so I thought I'd do a quick one on the US dollar to show you what's going on with the BRICS countries. I estimated that we still had a few years to go. 
things appeared to be progressing at a faster rate than ever before. The US dollar is their target. Eventually, it will collapse, and when that happens, XRP will be skyrocketing. I value your interest in my videos. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next one, bye.